whatever it takes to be there for you Going through partially faded Getting no sleep but I'm shady Two in the morning, it's raining and pouring Good morning everybody, top algebraic modeling student Savage Gasp here I'm here today with Convolk <laughs> nah, bro. It's good. It's, it's this is my friend Garden. Uh, we're gonna be learning a little bit about him today. If you wanna go ahead and start, uh, maybe a little bit of background. How you got uh, yeah, started with music? I uh, I used to make really shitty dubstep music when I was like 14. Um, and I started making like chip tune. Uh, I went from that to like more EDM, like trap style stuff. Uh, and I used to freestyle at my friend's house all the time, so I kind of started writing around then. Um, and I started recording vocals like three or four years ago. Could you spit some bars for me? Bars. I'll give you a word. Uh, orangutan. Orangutan. Bangarang. So, all right, everybody give it up for Garden. All right, so let's uh, let's move forward a little bit. So let's talk about let's talk about Outsider first. Okay. So tell me a little bit about like the process behind that album and what it means to you. Um, okay, so that's an important album to me personally. Yeah. Um, so Outsider was like my third like full length project with vocals. Um, it's also the last project that I had put out. Um, I kind of wanted it to be a little darker than my usual stuff. Uh, but I still wanted it to be as cohesive as my last project before that, which was Akuna. Um, I don't know, I was kind of like in a weird headspace when I wrote everything on that album. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> bringing it back to Lacuna, like how would you say that you like grew as an artist from Lacuna to Outsiders? Um, Either sonically or just like as a person? I think, I think just as far as like just like sitting there and just like recording more shit gave me like more experience but as well as like becoming more social and kind of like getting out of my house kicking out um, with the lads yeah um but also like <clears throat> the transition from lacuna to outsider was like i was like this little like weird hermit kid when i put uh lacuna out and then outsider was like the first like project that i put out when i like first started like actually getting out more and like doing more shit with my life and like myself so yeah it was kind of like uh in a sense, it's kind of like a project about like growing up. Oh, Facts. Okay. So to, piggy to piggyback off of that, um, let's like talk about like the whatever it takes video. Cause I know that that's like, Ooh, okay. speaking of people, yeah, of getting out yeah, and like yeah. meeting more people. Yeah, could yeah. you like talk about that? So um, it was my, I think it was my second time ever being in New York, like New York City. Cause I live, uh, I live in like Western New York towards like Buffalo and stuff. Um, but yeah, went out to, went out to New York City. Met up with you, met up with Convolk, um, Nine Tails, Shinny, like a bunch of fucking people. Um, we're all chilling at Heavy Empty's house. Shout out my boy Heavy Empty. But yeah, we, we went out and got This ramen. is water. Yeah, it's water. This is water. Water. Mom. No alcohol. Um, yeah, we, uh, we went out and got ramen, and then we picked up some Alkies, and then went back to Heavy's crib, drank a little bit, and I think it was it was Convo that was like, yo, like, let's just shoot a video. Yeah, because Jack Rotier was there. Yeah, so Jack was like, all right, like, I got the camera, like, let's just do it. Well, because we had already shot, me and Miles had shot the New York video earlier, and Convo was kind of yeah, like, yo, yeah. I wanted to, like, do a video too, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And I think that that's how it, like, started. Mm -hmm. And then it, like, kind of evolved into, like, something beautiful and, like, the one take. Like, we had, like, yeah. 20 minutes to do that video too, yeah. I feel like. And that was, like, the first time that we had all, like, been together, like, in a room or just, like, just hanging out in general. Yeah. Um, so that was like the, the like introduction to like our friendships. Yeah, especially us. Like I just yeah. I didn't even like know you as a person. Yeah, exactly. Before that. Yeah. And I'm happy that I got to know you. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right, yo, moving forward. So okay, let's talk about the future. Future. Because that's I think what's important right now. Let's talk about the album. Okay. What else this year? Because um, I know there's a lot cooking up in that noggin right now. Way too much. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm still like in the process of finishing the album. Um, I have a name for it, it's called Creature. Uh, I named it after my cat. He's fat. Yeah, shout out my cat. Really fluffy guy. Um, He's thick. Yeah, very thick. Two C's. Um, Patrick CC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but no, I think this, this next project's gonna be like, 
more all over the place than most of the shit that I put out on the letter. Well, yeah, because I noticed like me, myself, and I is like a big step in like kind of a different direction mm -hmm. sonically from like what you normally do. I don't know if that's like right, but it sounds like a little more like free spirited, like yeah. kicking it with the guys. I think like, I think my first few projects, I was kind of like, ooh, like, I thought more about like what I wanted to make. With this one, it's kind of like free flowing and I like just didn't give a fuck, you know? Um, and like more so came naturally than like feeling forced. So yeah, I feel that. Stop checking on your phone. My mind races at some paces that occur.